Good morning everybody. Been to the hospital to get a blood test this morning. I'm just gonna pop myself a little chocolate twist in the air fryer to reward myself for being such a brave girl. Um, I'm gonna have a banana as well. We're starting on the grey. Look at this. Is it called cutting in? Oh, is that what it's called? I think so. Cutting in. I don't know. I could just be throwing terms out there. I'm excited to just get a roller and just do this. So today I do have another hospital appointment later, um, which is in town in Southampton. So I'm thinking maybe we could go to Dunelm because there's a couple of bits that I've seen um, from there. Curtain poles, really exciting things. Uh, but I just want to go and have a look. So yeah, and maybe pop back to Ikea depending on how busy it may be. goodness oh, it looks so good the light is a bit weird right now so you can't fully see it but um honestly i love this color so much i've saved so many flipping photos of it um on instagram and seeing it here it, like it's just perfect it's like a bluey toned grey, which is exactly what I wanted. And yeah, I just think it matches the kitchen so well. The whole vibe of the kitchen is like grey, blue, black and white. And I just think, I just flipping love it. So anyway, after seeing the white on this wall, which is so nice, um, the white in the kitchen isn't actually white. You can see like here, I think they use the same colour on these walls because it had a slight like greeny tinge like the olive it wasn't really olive green i don't really know how you describe the green on this wall so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint this section and i think i don't know whether i'll do that by myself but um i'm gonna paint this section as well with the white just to brighten it up a bit i've just filled in some holes i've just taken a couple of things that were on the wall here are off because they were wonky they were just like two um handles which were really really useful um they were like these things that i used to just put my keys in some um what's it called tea towels up on i think i might maybe put something on here for tea towels because i just want everything as hidden away as possible i think with my washing machine and my dishwasher it's not looking likely that i'm going to be able to get a door for them so i'm probably just going to have to get a new one um so i'm going to have a look for like a nice modern one that's going to fit in this space and also this space so there are pipes there which is very very tricky for putting in a dishwasher that's going to be flush with here so anyway that's the update on the kitchen i'm gonna get on with painting that i'm not gonna bore you with footage of me painting it because you've seen enough of me painting i was just sat here thinking what are we gonna do for dinner tonight and this box turns up on my door i'm so excited um one of my favorite brands dr teal sent it because they're doing a live um like cook along this evening i've never heard of this um company before but it looks so good like the italian cook away they've sent i assume like all the ingredients and everything are in here oh my god it's like it reminds me of um oh my god what's that brand called the boxes hello fresh that kind of vibe and there's a little card in here oh 
That's so cute. I just found this in the bottom of the box. So this is their new two pound bag. It's so cute. I flipping love this stuff and I think I'm gonna have a bath this evening because let me tell you, painting is hard work. Second hospital trip of the day done. And I got myself a iced latte. <laughs> it's so weird when you walk into hospital and they literally like point a gun at your face to take your temperature. <laughs> They're like, hi. Bam. Anyway, mum came in with me to town and dropped me off, which was really useful. And she went to the range while I was in there because we actually went to Dunelm before hospital. I picked up a few bits, but it was literally like a 10 minute trip. So I didn't vlog it. I'll show you what I got when we get home. I'm gonna walk to Tesco now because I need to get some champagne. <laughs> Basically, I've got a baby shower tomorrow for my friend Shaney. Um, and yeah. I need to see if I can find a card because all the shops I've been in, I've not been able to find any nice like baby cards. Also like, do you get someone a baby shower card or do you get them one when they've had the baby? <laughs> Comment below. Also, two things. First one, I've tried to be like very, very nice and smiley to everyone that I've come in contact with today. Like especially people who are working at the hospitals because I feel like they definitely need pleasant um, patients. Also, it's so funny when you get into like house stuff, like how much you notice about houses, like these houses that I'm just walking past now in Southampton. Never noticed them before, but they're actually really, really cute. <laughs> I feel like I'm just chatting rubbish because I didn't bring my AirPods with me for this walk to Tesco. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera down and try and be in the moment. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about Ikea. So I found this card in Tesco. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I thought it was the most appropriate to be honest. Yay, you're having a baby. Like, because this, there wasn't much choice. And I also found, I say found, I bought some Prosecco, but we're now heading to Ikea and my camera doesn't seem to want to focus. Oh Ikea, how I have missed you. Even though I was literally here, <laughs> how many days? F five days ago? They didn't have my sofa in here though when I was here the other day. I don't know if they still sell it anymore. That. A what? <laughs> it's not even focused. Why is my camera not focusing today? Just looking for some curtains for my dining room. Oh, white. White or grey? Pink. Pink. I actually. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <gasps> I feel like I could do that in my bedroom. And the curtain poles. This is exactly what I wanted. Although, this fixture is a bit messy, but you're gonna be looking at it from this angle. Just got back home, just sat in my favorite chair, made myself some cheese and crackers. Both me and mum are so hungry right now. It's like four o'clock. Made a little afternoon snack. And I've got this coconut water that I got from Lidl the other day. And then we're gonna get on and finish the painting. And then this evening we're doing the cook along and um, dropping off the puppies. This is gonna be Mars's first time away from home because I'm going to London tomorrow. Mum's going back up to the Lake District. Our family friends that usually have Lola are gonna have them both this time. So they're gonna have their hands full. Oh my goodness, this is so good. She Lola, this is not your food to guard. Okay, so here are... Do you want to come in? Come in the bathroom then. I've just closed the door because I can't quieten the music downstairs and I don't want to get copyrighted. So these are the bits that I picked up from Dunnell. This is so random, but basically... I realized I didn't have one of these for my washing line. I actually really like this color as well. I think I'm gonna do like my outside turquoise because I really love the color. 
and I think like turquoise cushions and grey will go really well as like a garden colour scheme but these are what I'm so excited about because I was needing a new toilet brush to actually go because I just don't think the copper works in here and I think this goes perfectly in here and I also found this squeegee don't, don't really know what they're called um because I have one of these and it's just a really ugly um let's see if we can see it that just red with white so this one actually looks pretty I do really need like a shower caddy but um I haven't really found one that I like yet. Do you like my toilet brush, Marzi? And then I got the soap holder just to go with it as well. Do you like that? No, you can't eat it. And then from Ikea, oh, that bowl's not supposed to be in there. Got a bowl from Ikea. Cause mum was like, you need a medium sized bowl. This is my new bit. Cause I really wanted like a wicker one with a lid and then one of my followers dm me and was like this is in ikea and i remember seeing it because i went to ikea the other day and bought um that and it was like in the same section as that so i'm gonna put like a bin liner in there and use that as my bathroom bin because there's a lot of wicker ones but they don't have lids and I just don't really want to see what's in my bathroom bin, to be honest. I'll show you the other bits that I got from Ikea. Look how cute. I love that my bathroom is finally coming together. The only thing I have left to get is a toilet roll holder and a mirror for this wall. Sorry, I just stepped on that. Um, yeah, I think these two look so much better here than the copper ones do. I did see a really, really cool toilet roll holder in Don Elm that had like a monkey. It was like a brass one. But I just don't know if brass will go in here because obviously... Oh! Okay, now I'm stepping on this. <laughs> obviously, it's all like chrome. I'm thinking maybe like a cream outline of a mirror would go in here. So yeah, I'm not sure mirror slash toilet roll holder wise or what I'm gonna do with this wall. My camera's being so bad at focusing today. What is going on? But yeah, no, I'm really happy with how like this little corner is coming along. Got my soap dispenser. Just need to find myself a cabinet for up here. And then let me just quickly show you the bits from Ikea. I've got a black curtain pole. And then I just picked up these ends for the curtain pole. And this, which I'm gonna put this plant sorry everything's a bit everywhere at the moment i'm gonna put that plant in and then eventually when i get a shelf for this wall above my um table i'm gonna put this like on the shelf uh what else did i get oh yeah two curtains which i need to decide between did you see them both with the gray mum no so option number one are these curtains which I thought originally I wanted white, but the gray ones were nicer. These are just like some really thin linen ones. And then these ones are quite a similar color to that. So I don't know, I don't know how they're gonna look. I feel like I need to put them both up and then decide. And if I do decide on these ones, I might even keep these for my bedroom. I'm not sure, cause I do really like the dark velvet. Something I realized today, did you notice this, mum, that my door is not completely in the middle? Anyway, decisions, decisions. On with the painting, I need to get changed. Oh yeah, and these, let me just show you these really quickly. Don't know if you'll be able to see, these are for the baby shower tomorrow. I asked this girl, Kat, so um, a while ago I was looking for local bakers to make a little um, treat box when my sister came down to stay. And um, one of you guys recommended a cat and she was so good. Anyway, my friend Shaney, who's the one that's having a baby, saw these and was like, oh my goodness, those are amazing. So I did her some jammy dodgers and then there's just like some, is it a boy, is it a girl, cupcakes. And then she also left these just for free. She was like, I was just testing them out and I just need someone to test them and tell me if they taste good. So <laughs> challenge accepted. So I'm just gonna go up and get changed into my painting clothes 
Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because all I'm doing tonight is cooking. You already know my plans for this evening is nothing that wild. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please do give it a thumbs up. I'm so happy to actually be doing these kind of home vlogs like where I can actually buy stuff and like make visible changes to my house because obviously I could have done that to my dining room during lockdown but it being just me like it just seems a bit overwhelming and i am glad that i didn't buy furniture because obviously i've had to put like all the boxes in the dining room anyway <coughs> excuse you can you please think you're playing <coughs> elsewhere do you want to say goodbye say goodbye cheeky boy <coughs> i need a haircut and i've got white pain in my ear what's he like lola eh you gonna come say goodbye they definitely both need a haircut they've both got fringes like this <gasps> you cutie goodbye everybody thumbs up and subscribe yeah mars agrees <laughs>